a very good day to everyone who is listening and watching me right about now. Brothers and sisters, you have not clicked on this video by mistake. You are not watching me by coincidence. God has recommended to you this video for a very good reason. There are things that God wants to speak to you through me. Remember that God speaks in many ways. I've spoken about this, how God speaks to his children. The Bible says it clear that his sheep hear his voice and they know. Brothers and sisters, if you are new to this channel, you are watching me for the very first time, or if you have been watching me and you have not been subscribing to this channel, I kindly request you to please subscribe to this channel, turn on all the notifications so that you may never miss out on the future videos. Every day I have these videos that I release and I also have live streams where I pray for you, I encourage you, I read out your comments and I let you know about the things of God. Your miracle is so close. Your breakthrough is closer than before. Brothers and sisters, I want to remind you that if you want to be a blessing to this ministry, you can do so through your giving and you can give through my PayPal account. My PayPal link is right in the this, uh, about section of this channel. Just click on that about section so that you may be able to receive that PayPal and you can give any amount that God has led you to give. If you have other ways to give, just let me know. Uh, send me a message through my email address. Or if you want me to pray for you, just send me a message through my email address or through my WhatsApp number. Brothers and sisters, I have a word for you today. I have a word for you. And the word is, God will cause your enemies to favor you. God himself is going to cause that adversary, that hater, to favor you. Some of you are going to start experiencing extreme favor. Favor that is so huge at your workplace. Where you find somebody that hated you. A co-worker that was fighting against you, liking you. Some of you, promotion is coming your way. It is coming your way. Some of you, you go to, to apply for a job and they will give you that job. Because favor will be upon you. Some of you may not even know that the person that you are encountering is actually your enemy. You may not know. And it is God that has caused your enemies to favor you. I want to read to you a very powerful word, which is from the book of Exodus. The book of Exodus chapter 12, verse 31 to 36. Exodus chapter 12, verse 31 to 36. The Bible says it clear. Then he called for Moses and Aaron by night and said, Rise, go out from among my people, both you and the children of Israel, and go serve the Lord as you have said. Also, take your flocks and your herds as you have said, and be gone and bless me also. And the Egyptians urged the people that they may send them out of the land in haste. For they said, We shall all be dead. So the people took their dough before it was leavened, having their kneading bowls bound up in their clothes on their shoulders. Now the children of Israel had done according to the word of Moses, and they had asked from the Egyptians, articles of silver, articles of gold and clothing. And the Lord had given the people favor in the sight of the Egyptians, so that they granted them what they requested. Thus they plundered the Egyptians. It's an amazing, powerful word to begin your day with. The Bible says, that Moses and Aaron was called for. Who called them? It was Pharaoh. Pharaoh was bothered. He called them. 
And he told them to rise out and go out from among his people. Why? Because the moment the Israelites were staying in Egypt, the Egyptians were facing a lot of problems. Mm. And listen what, what fellow said. He, said. he said, go with your flocks, your herds, and bless me also. Listen to what the enemy is saying. He was requesting for a blessing. When your enemy goes to that level, know that things are terrible for him or her. They are terrible. The Bible says it clear that the Israelites asked for articles of silver, gold, and clothing, and it was given to them because God had given them favor in the eyes of the Egyptians that they even plundered them. I'm telling you, some of you, you are going to see what we call restoration. Others, restitution. And others, you are going to plunder your enemies. Those that had taken things from you are going to regret. Those that have kept you bound will regret. They are going to become your servants. They are going to become slaves to you. Your enemies are going to become slaves to you. Because you are the head and not the tail. You are above and not beneath. No matter what you're going through, my dear brothers, I want you to trust in God. That if God can do it for the children of Israel, he can do it for you. If God can do it for Gideon, who many thought that he was a weakling, who he even thought that he was a nobody, God can do it for you. God can raise you up. God can bring you up. God can actually put you to a level where your enemies will wonder, what manner of man is this? Brothers and sisters, I want you to trust in God. I want to pray for somebody before I end this live stream who has been discouraged to the one that has been going through a lot of things. I want to pray for you. Let us pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, I thank you for everyone that is watching me at this time. I lift up each and every person that is listening to this video, those that are watching, those that are new to this channel. Father, I break every pattern of weakness that is in them, every pattern of witchcraft that has actually brought them down. Any negative word that has been projected towards them, I cancel it. I decree and declare that they are the head and not the tail. I decree and declare that they are coming out of their afflictions. Thank you, Jesus, for you have done it. Thank you, Father, for you have healed them. I speak healing to each and every one, from the crown of their head to the sole of their feet. I command that pain <clears throat> that has been on them, that depression, anxiety, suicidal thoughts, I command it right now to live in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus, for you have done it once again. In Jesus' mighty name I pray. Amen and amen. Brothers and sisters, if you have just had that prayer, just believe and trust in God that it is done. Until next time, God bless you.